Hi, how are you doing? My name is Roger. A few months ago, I recorded a song because of the COVID-19 pandemic. And because I don't have any other people to play music with, I recorded it symbolically without instruments. And I want to show you how I did it. In my last video, I explained how I did my percussion parts. And in this video, we're going to go through my vocal parts. This is not the actual song. This is only the way I approached the recording. Normally, I would have chosen different microphones because they have different characteristics. But I want to show you that it can be done with only one microphone. And therefore, I recorded my percussion parts with only one microphone. And now the vocal parts with only one microphone. If you haven't seen the percussion video, the link is down below. Maybe you should check that out first. That's up to you. So first of all, let's have a listen to the percussion parts and what I did last week. The first thing I did was that I just recorded an electric piano, so I had some harmonies, sounded like this, yeah, and so on. And then I sort of made up an arrangement. I didn't write down the sheet music on this, but I sort of have the sheet music in my head. I could have written it down if I wanted to, but I didn't feel the need to do that in this case. So on the intro, I needed some shouting at the distance. So I placed myself a bit away from the microphone. Sounds like this. And to bounce it down, I just pan them left, right, a high pass EQ and a slight compression on every channel. And then I bounce the tracks together. What I then needed was some mmm, like a choir, like a male choir in a low register. When the song sort of started, it sounds like this. I, I made four harmonies of this. And then when sort of the drum elements started in the song, I needed also the vocals to be more rhythmical. So I did some do's. Do in harmonies and then I recorded some should I call it do answers for the chorus I did tune my vocals a little bit not too much, because I wanted that chorus effect you get when things are not entirely in tune, but close enough so it doesn't sound horrible, of course. So I did tune them a little bit. And when I bounce my tracks, I bounce them normally with a high pass filter on EQ and a slight compression just to keep every track sort of in place. And I also pan them left, right, because I can always make it narrow, narrow. I can also make them less wide. Yeah. For the chorus, I knew I needed something to make the chorus bigger and also to glue the other elements together. So I sang a lot of oohs. I think I sang it four or five times each harmony and I did five harmonies. And then, of course, I bounce them together. And I bounce every harmony separately because I can then, when I'm mixing, change the level of each harmony. If I combine them all together at once, 
What I usually do is make the lower harmony too soft and the higher harmonies too loud. Normally for me. Just before the chorus, I did a swell that sounds like this. A four harmony swell. And also a hit, like a big band brass hit with ba. And of course, brass instruments is going to do a fall, so they will do bow. What I figured out was that instead of me doing it in falsetto, it was better for me to do it in my full voice, but then I couldn't reach those notes. So I did it in my full voice, sounded like this. Bow. And then I pitched it up one octave using the little altar boy from Sound Toys. Bow. Could you record a distorted electric guitar with only a voice? Well, I tried to simulate it anyway. I did some low notes. And then a fifth above. What I had to do here was to tune them a little more because if fifths are not in tune they sound shall we say less pleasant and an old trick is to use a piano or electric guitar just to push the first beat of a chorus to make that beat a little extra punchy i did that with the guitar simulator vocal thing ish <sighs> And it was time to sing some bass. So I just sang the bass stuff I had in my head. And uh, mm, it's hard to be totally in tune at that register. So I had to tune it a bit. And I also adjusted the vibrato a little bit and the, the timing slightly on a couple of notes. And, it, and I did that with Logic's flex pitch. The song is called Alone Together. And for the chorus, I needed some kind of big choir to sing those words. So I sang Alone Together, close to the microphone, four times. We are alone together. Then I turned around, sang it four times. We are alone together. Then I sang it four times more at a distance. We are alone together. After that, it was time to record some lead vocals. This is a story about a time. And I also sang a harmony on the lead vocal in the beginning of the chorus. So let's see what we've got. As you can see, I've colored my tracks. I also made some buses to make it easier to mix. Let's start with the bass and see what I've done to it. Uh, here are the basses, it, because it's two of them. One that sounds like this. Not much going on. EQ, a compressor, and Logic's sub bass. Not much. And then I made the bass an octave lower with the little altar boy. 12 semitones down and a little bit form and shift. Sounds like this. And what I did here was that I, with an EQ, only kept the low, lows of it, some compression and a little bit of decapitator for a little bit of distortion. And com when I combine them, it sounds like this. And the guitar part, um, vocal guitar thing, I did EQ a little bit, take a bit of the harsh edge of the attack, and I had to lower the lows a bit. I just used Logic's Amp Designer, which I tweaked a bit with a little bit of tremolo to keep the rhythm going. And then another EQ to boost the mids. It sounds like this. Two guitar things in stereo. And 
And then we have the guitar hits, which is on the first beat of the chorus. Sounds like this. Sort of the same thing going on, but also a delay. If we go to the ooze, the ooze choir, five part harmony, which I sang a bunch of time each harmony. Not much going on here either. Some EQ to take away some low mids. Another EQ to boost the highs because I like this EQ for the highs. Uh, micro shift for some chorusing to glue it together. And a little bit of delay. It sounds like this. <laughs> Dreamy. We have the do part, and I'd split them up so that they're, they're not sounding all the time. Uh, it could sound a bit like this. And so on. Uh, nothing much going on here either. A little bit of delay, de-essing to take the edge of the first syllable, the D and an EQ to boost the highs and take away some lows. Not, nothing much going on. We have the Alone Together Choir at the end, where I sang first close to the microphone, and then away from the microphone, and then at a distance. And it sounds like this. Alone together, alone to and so on. The only thing I did was to boost a little bit of highs, take away some lows, and send it to a reverb and a delay. Nothing much at all. The swell before the chorus, uh, there's nothing going on really. We have the ahs, totally clean from effects. The bars, totally clean from effects, except for the bus, where I combine the bars, um, some EQ, a bit of compression, an EQ again to boost a little bit of the high and the high mids, and a delay. I also send it to a reverb. It sounds like this. Something like that. What do we have more? We have the intro. We have the intro O uh, thing. That's the only channel that have its own reverb. You remember I sang it at a distance and I wanted to sound as it was sung on a distance. So I put a room reverb only on that channel. And it sounds like this. The lead vocals is the track with most processing. I have to de-ass it, a channel EQ just to high pass it because I don't want the low frequencies to hit the compression. Uh, two compressors, neither of them doing much. Two 3 dB of compression on an LA-2A and an 1176. And then I had to de-ass it again because it's uh, it was a bit harsh, I thought. And then sugar is my sort of uh, flavoring element of the vocals. The only thing I automated uh, in the whole song was the reverb and delay send of the lead vocals. The lead vocal sounds like this. It's a story about a time when keeping distance was the way to be all right. Something like that. If we combine all all things together then. The song sounds like this. This is a story about a time when keeping distance was the way to be alright. This is a story and it affects us all. No weapons will not ever win this fight. Come shun and rain. So that's it, folks. 
I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from this. If there's something you would have done differently, please let me know. My song Alone Together. I'll be happy if you want to check it out. The link is down below. And the Swedish word of today. Of course, I'm going to choose alone. In Swedish, it is Ian Sam. Ian Sam. And Roger that. Together. Oh, I like it. Yeah, 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 yeah.